need to watch porn. Uh, I need to masturbate now, 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 now. Emmanuel, you have to watch porn now, now. Uh, yes, 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 now. I can't hold it, I can't hold it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Where is Ima? Please come out. Can we celebrate Ima? He's been one of our fantastic um, pastors in church. And um, I appreciate God for how God is using him for us. Have you guys experienced how God has been using him? Yes, sir. He's a man that has great passion for righteousness. He's a man that runs from sin. I mean, Ima is a perfect man. I love how God is using him mightily. I've never seen such a man like him before. I pray that God will bless him richly. Amen. I said God will bless him richly. Amen. Thank you for your faithfulness in the house of God. I know everyone is proud of you. I'm so sure everyone is proud of you. God bless you so much. Keep up the good work, eh? God bless you. Come celebrate him, man. If you can, can you quickly open your Bible to John chapter 3, verse 15? Pastor thinks I'm the most righteous member in church. Me. <laughs> Man, me. <laughs> if only he knew what I mean to. <laughs> you know I don't deserve those accolades. I've lost count of how many porn sites I've visited this month till I go to church, I put up a show, and I come right back into my addiction. Um, Grace, this is Emmanuel, Hello, and he's one of our Hello. trusted um, leaders in church, so he will connect you to the department. Very faithful guy, you know, wow. and um, he's the one that fears God. He's going to help you with your Bible study and try to integrate you to church. I think I need to confess to Pastor. I need to let him know I'm not who he thinks I am. What do you mean by you are not who you think you are? What do you mean by you want to go and confess? Confess to what? Oh, now you want all that honor that Pastor was placing on you in church to go to vain? Pastor said you are the best member in church. And you are still the best member in church. You know, you want to go and confess. Nobody knows about any of this thing that you do. And it has to remain like that. If you don't tell them, how will they know? And since you have been doing any of this, what has changed? So continue to enjoy yourself. You know where all the porn sites are on your phone. Go there and enjoy yourself. Nobody has to know. And at the end of the day, you are still the best member in church. <laughs> Manuel. The best member in church. He is the best member in church. The best member in pornography. <laughs> Just look at yourself. In so much filth, deadness. You are an embarrassment to your church. Your pastor thinks you are, you are the best member in church. You stink, Emmanuel. The wages of sin is death. Emmanuel, you will die. Just look at you. I will not do it again. I will not do it again. He said the same thing yesterday. The day before yesterday. He said the same thing today. And just look at you now. You've been doing this for the past eight years, Emmanuel. So dirty. <laughs> now you want to cry. You want to cry? Best be my judge. Best be my judge. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Pastor, I know you see me as one fervent brother in church, and uh, the accolade is, is something that has really gotten to me of recent, which is I, I could not hold it anymore, sir. You see, for the past nine to ten years now, Pastor, I, I've been struggling. I've been struggling, and... What have you been struggling with? Pastor, secret sin. Secret sin, pornography, Pastor, and masturbation. I, 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 I don't know how to go about it, Pastor. I feel so dirty, Pastor. <laughs> I know you're wondering why I'm laughing, and you expect that I should condemn you. The truth is that None of us is perfect. <laughs> From the day I started giving you those accolades, I knew you were not perfect. None of us is perfect. Our perfection is in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Pastor, the more I, I try to fight this thing, the more I find myself in it, Pastor. That's true because it is not in your effort less any man will boast. The more you keep laboring, the more you still find yourself in sin. But, but sir, how, how, how can I, how, how do I conquer this habit, sir? I'm tired, sir. I'm tired. Listen, the greatest victory which you have already is that you came out openly to let me know. Because sin strives in secrecy. The reason why the devil will have hold of you is because you've been privately fighting the battle alone. But now I can tell you that the devil is embarrassed that you have come to let me know this. You have not come to a point where you have to exalt your reputation above the reputation you have in Christ Jesus. You have let down your reputation because you want to accept the righteousness of Christ. The devil would always come to tell you how inadequate you are, you are filthy, you are dirty. Yes, yes, Pastor, yes. After the devil has encouraged you to go into sin, the same devil will come and condemn you. You are very true, sir. But see, that is the reason why Jesus Christ came to die. Because you cannot and you do not have the power to live above sin by yourself. Finally, the power of our sin is for you to acknowledge who you are in Christ. The truth is that when that thought comes, you keep confessing the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Acknowledging this fact makes you know who you are and your place. When the devil knows who you are and your identity in Christ, the devil has got no place in you. The devil will always fight a man who is sin conscious. He will come to tell you how inadequate you are. The moment you accept it, and you lose your identity in Christ, then sin will have a stronghold over your life. I'm going to pray for you. And I need you to believe that you are righteous in Christ. It's not what the devil tells you. I don't see you any less. I see you as Christ sees you, and that you are righteous in Christ. So let's pray. Say after me. I am made righteous. I am made righteous by Jesus. By Jesus. It is not of my effort. It is not of my effort. Therefore, therefore, there is now no condemnation. There is now no condemnation for them that are in Christ, for Jesus. Them that are in Christ Jesus. I experience victory every I day. I experience victory every day. I pray for you now that Satan, you have no place over this one's life. Amen. You demonic thoughts. Amen. You stronghold holding him down for these years. Amen. Your hand is now. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Don't worry, I'm going to follow up on you. I can assure you, every old or sin will be broken from your life. You will never be free. You know you want to do it again. So pick up your phone and do it one more time, Emmanuel. You know you want to. I've been set free. I've been delivered. You have no place in this body. You have been rebuilt. Never again in the name of Jesus. Mm. Never again in the name of no. Jesus. No. Uh, either the son has set free, has been free. No. I no. Victory. I walk in victory over every appetite of the flesh. From this day, I am victorious in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus.